Tonight, L.L. Beans trying to distance itself from a political battle between President-elect Trump and a campaign calling for a boycott of the popular New England retailer. I would assume reporter Madeline Wright caught up with local shoppers at L.L. Beans Cranston location. She has their reaction new at 630. The controversy began after Linda Bean, the granddaughter of the founder of L.L. Bean, donated $60,000 to a political action committee that supports Donald Trump. That turned out to be illegal because the PAC can only accept donations of $5,000 or less. Critics are calling on customers to boycott L.L. Bean products. President-elect Donald Trump responded Thursday in a tweet, encouraging customers to buy more of the company's products and thanking Linda Bean for her courage. I just uh, saw the thing on Fox News this morning about, uh, you know, wanting to get rid of the, um, I think, of Linda Bean, and I supported Trump, and I see no reason to get her off the board. So uh, we came in just to do some shopping and support her and support Bean. Customers at L.L. Bean's Cranston location are divided on Linda Bean's donation. I didn't care for it very much. It wasn't something I would have done. But even those who didn't support Donald Trump's presidency are still willing to support the company. L.L. Bean wrote in a Facebook post, the company does not endorse political candidates. And I think that's important to say, and I think that was um, really great of the brand to say. And so I'm not going to stop shopping there just because the granddaughter donated some money. L.L. Bean is trying to distance itself from Linda Bean, saying that they understand some customers don't agree with her political views, but that she's only one of 10 board members and one out of more than 50 family members involved in the company. Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.